Okay, so this is a video of a little movement um, which is really to help um, add rotation to your pelvis. Um, but the movement really is, is we're trying to get a little inward movement of your foot, okay, on the stance foot at the end of your stance phase, okay. So as you're normally, as we're landing, so if we're looking at this sort of picture from above, as you're landing, okay, you land, we would really like, you know, as you're coming through that stance phase, as you're coming over, you know, Body's coming over your foot. I want you to try and think about pushing your foot in that direction um, and at the same time trying to think about as this foot here is going in that way, I want you to try and think about this leg going this way. Okay, and so I put the reference point on the on your hip here so that you're trying to throw your hip this way. At the same time, you're trying to throw your foot in that direction. Now what that what that means is that we should just really be accentuating from a pelvis point of view is that this one here should be going this way and this one here should be going this way, which creates a little rotation movement. Now I'm hoping that gives you a little bit more power on the push off, but it also is going to get you hopefully a little reach a little bit further with this up. So it's, I'm hoping it to for ultimately be able to extend your stride length a little bit with a minimal use of energy. Okay, I, I actually say that you're not doing this, it's actually you're going to waste a little bit of energy. Now to counteract this rotation that is occurring okay, at our pelvis, at our, our upper trunk, we should be rotating in the opposite direction. So essentially, if we're thinking this here, we are pushing, I really want you to try and think about that foot pushing in okay, at the end of your stance phase, whilst this hip goes that way. Okay, so this one here is this way, this way, this way. And essentially, we should be essentially counteracting that rotation. So this arm should be going this way, and this arm should be going this way. Okay, and it should create a perfect torsion around the mid, around your around your midline. Okay, hope this hasn't overconfused people.